In this video, I'm going to take you through the steps for connecting your MIDI controller to your computer, as well as a few different options for getting connected. You'll want to start by identifying if your keyboard has a built-in MIDI interface, and you can find this out by checking in your controller's user manual. If your keyboard does have a built-in MIDI interface, you can connect directly to your controller using a USB cable. All you need to do is connect one end to your controller, and then connect the other end directly to your computer. Now most MIDI keyboards will be powered directly from bus power, but if your keyboard doesn't power up, all you'll need to do is just connect it to power before you switch it on. If you're using a digital piano or keyboard without a built-in MIDI interface, you have to connect using the 5-pin MIDI port on the back of the keyboard. In order for this to work, you'll need an external MIDI interface to translate the MIDI notes between your keyboard and send them to your computer. So let me show you two different types of interfaces that you can use to get this done. First is my favorite MIDI interface, and that's the M Audio Uno. I love this little interface because it's easy just to throw in your bag or put in the back of your trunk, and you'll have it with you wherever you go. In order to get started with this interface, you'll just want to connect these two 5-pin cables into the back of your MIDI controller. So input to input, and output connects to the output. And from there, you'll just take this USB port and connect that directly into your computer. Now your second option is to use an audio interface. Now I'm using the iConnect Audio 4 Plus, but any interface with MIDI 5 pin in and out on the back will work. The first thing you want to do is just connect your interface through USB to your computer. And then from there, what we'll need is a 5 pin MIDI cable. And this cable you're going to connect to the output on your MIDI keyboard. And then from there, go directly into your MIDI input on your audio interface. Remember that 5-pin MIDI won't power your MIDI controller, so go ahead and hook it up to power before switching it on. If you have any questions about anything covered in this video, feel free to reach out to us at multitracks.com support.